What's up everybody, Nola Deej here, coming to you from Destrahan, Louisiana. New Orleans and the surrounding areas are built around the Mississippi River on both sides. To get from one side to the other, typically you would take a bridge. However, if there isn't a bridge built, or as an alternative option, you can take a ferry across. In Destrehan, not far from New Orleans, there used to be a ferry that would bring people from Destrehan to the other side of the river in Luling. However, this ferry no longer exists, and there's a tragic reason why. Out here in Destrehan sits a memorial to the victims of the George Prince Ferry. On October 20th, 1976, the worst ferry disaster in the history of the United States happened right here in St. Charles Parish, Louisiana. The accident happened on the river early in the morning. It was dawn, 40 degrees, and no fog was in sight. The 50-year-old ferry was making its way across the river loaded with people, most of which worked at the plants on the riverbank. As the ferry was about halfway into its journey to the other side, the captain of a 22,000-ton tanker saw that the ferry was very close to the ship's bow. He tried to signal the George Prince Ferry, but it was too late and there was a massive collision. A huge rescue effort took place, but out of the 95 people, only 18 people made it out alive. For days, hard hats, lunch pails, and other items washed up on the shore. 77 people died that morning. Because of this tragedy, a major change took place in maritime law. Large ships on the river would now legally have the right of way over smaller vessels. At the time of the accident, the Hale Boggs Bridge was already under construction. When it opened in 1983, the ferry route from Destrehan to Luling and back was ended. This is the actual bell from the ferry that was recovered from the river. Now it's just a quick trip across the Hale Boggs Bridge to get to the other side of the river. So I wanted to go see if there was any sign of the old ferry dock. On the other side of the river, in Luling, is where the old ferry terminal used to be. People would come up and down these little roads to get to the dock so they could board the ferry and cross the river. And at the end of this road is where the terminal for this side of the river was for that ferry. As you can see, the road is in disrepair and it hasn't been used in quite some time. There isn't much at the end but some trees and bushes. And there's an old shack at the end that looks like it could have been part of the terminal, maybe a storage shed or something. I can see signs of people sleeping and living over there, so I'm not going to get much closer. In 2006, a documentary called The Luling Ferry Disaster was released, which is what got the ball rolling on this memorial, which was completed and unveiled in 2009. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed a little land yap from this hoot at, and I go past a good time.